Hi there. Today, today we're going to talk about OneNote. Uh, so if you haven't heard of this program yet, uh, OneNote is part of Windows 10. So if you have a new computer or if you've updated your computer to Windows 10, then you might already have OneNote. Um, but we're going to look at this as an alternative to paper, uh, an alternative to notebooks and sticky notes and all that kind of stuff. Um, now, I'm not going to suggest that uh, you go without any paper at all in your world, but this method that I will be talking to you about will at least help you find things faster and be more organized and maybe Maybe clear some of that clutter that might be in certain spots um, throughout your office or even throughout your home. Uh, so uh, my example today that I'm going to share with you is um, looking at um, this application as a way of grabbing some notes and grabbing some information that maybe we're trying to look up on the internet. And so if you're like me, I mean, I like to have this recipe in front of us here. I, I like to uh, look for new recipes and uh, yeah, I have tons of cookbooks in my cabinet, believe me, uh, but I still like to go online and uh, actually see if I can find some, some new recipes, new inspiration. So, so uh, I've done that and when I find one that I like, what I'll do is I'll make sure I, I keep a copy for myself somewhere handy so I can find it again. And so I've done that through using OneNote. So OneNote's kind of become that little virtual recipe book for me. So that's kind of a personal example, but OneNote is a program that is uh, really, it is taking the place of a, of a spiral notebook or a notebook of any kind that you can think of. And so think of how many times you like to take notes throughout the day, whether it's for work or for personal. And so you could have many notebooks for many reasons. And so this is just one reason that I'm going to share with you uh, in today's example. Um, so, so let's let's do this one. So this uh, example I have in front of you here has a has a recipe, and as you can see, um, it says clipped from, and then it has a website right there, and then it even has the link. So I could go straight back to that website if I want to, um, or I could just look at what's in here. So it has it in my notebook, but it's certainly given given uh, me a link back to get to it on that website. And so uh, that's just one example of what I can do within OneNote. By the way, that's just the example I'm focusing on today. There's so much that OneNote can do. Um, so I'm just going to give you a little peek of other things and then we're going to do this example together so you can see how easy this is. So uh, this a notebook that we're in right now is called personal and so now you're getting a look at my personal life <laughs> so so just you know uh, so i have different sections that mean different things so if i go to the dog section for example um, then i have some some pages in that section that pertain to the dogs if i go to my gardening section then i have some pages in that section that pertains to some things i want to keep track of for gardening or if I'm going to a gardening place. Um, now I'm in Canada in, uh, in in Alberta and so there's no gardening happening right now unless we're talking about um, some stuff that grows in the snow. But uh, <laughs> this is this is sort of wishful thinking for where I want to be, right? Uh, so anyways, we can uh, we can look at, uh, so I'm going to look at some of those things but I want to just take you a little peek further and let you see this is one notebook of many that I have. So if you look at the left side of my screen, very left side, um, then that is the other notebooks I have. And um, as you can see, they're, they're in no particular order. They're in whatever order I open them in, um, but I can certainly put them in order as I've done kind of with my sections. I can, I, can, I can move things around as much as I want. It's alphabetical under my personal because I've made it that way, not because it does that automatically. Just a side note there. Um, so I'm just gonna go to classroom for a second. And so in this notebook, I talk about the web clip clipper. Um, I have a lot of the different examples in here and I want to just let you see my bad handwriting with the mouse. So you can certainly handwrite when you're using OneNote. So it is kind of like that. I mean, I know we like writing. It feels good. It feels better sometimes than using the computer and stuff, but you can still do that. You can still use OneNote on your iPhone and be writing with your finger or with a, with a stylus if you want to. And similarly, you could be doing that same thing with an iPad or a tablet of any kind, right? And uh, so aside from that, uh, so I just have some examples of things I clipped from the web. But beyond that, I mean, there are so many good uses of OneNote. Um, we can create stuff for meetings. We can use templates if we want to. We can make all kinds of links to things. Um, I actually should show you that links area. 
So I have a table of contents in this um, one notebook I have. And when I click on something, it moves me to that page. So it's like your virtual table of contents. or your. So again, back to that recipe example, I could make a virtual uh, cookbook so that it has a table of contents of things and then it throws me to that page quickly if it's if it's too much to be that I can't see necessarily on the left hand side here okay so let's go back to that example let's go back to the recipe and let me show you how I did this um, so I think I will be I think where I am is okay so I'm going to go on to a website and so uh, I picked <laughs> picked my website and I just, um, ha I'm on my blog, on my blog and my website. And so by the way, if you don't know what that is, uh, so submission-computers.com and then under about is the mission blog. And then I try and, I try and, I'm blogging a lot these days about what's going on in terms of technology and what's needed the most. And, and so I am blogging a lot about Microsoft Teams and OneDrive and OneNote and SharePoint and those things. Um, but I have lots of other blogs about Excel and things like that too. So just take a look there when you have a chance. So this is my example today. I'm gonna to show you how to take this information from the blog and uh, capture it in your notebook so you can look at it later and then not have to worry about where that is on the website so I can be doing this with a recipe I'm just using my, the example of the blog today so I'm going to go to this what is OneDrive page all right so now you have to wait for me wait for the internet <laughs> see how the speed goes here so um, and while you're waiting or while you're with if you're with me and you're watching this let me know if you're using OneNote if you're using um, a competing product to, to OneNote by the way is Evernote and it does the same kind of thing so let me know if you're using OneNote or Evernote um, by the way, you can get it for free as a free download onto your phone or to your tablet. Um, you can down and you can download it for free. Um, I, I guess on your on your computer. If you have Windows 10, you already have it. If you have Microsoft Office or Microsoft 365 of any shape or, ver or version, then you also have uh, OneNote already. So just have to start using it. So let's look at this example here. Now I did. Um, something ahead of time that you're going to have to do some homework on and I um, made I'm in Chrome right now by the way and I have something called um, uh, an actual oh geez I just forgotten the name of it it's like a plugin um, for Chrome um, it's called the uh, so it's letting me clip to one note so you're gonna to have to search for that plugin that's why I can do this right now um, so it's a, it's a plugin it's 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 um it's perfectly safe safe um, but you're gonna need that to to copy this example so I'm gonna click on this plugin here and when I do that it's asked me do I want to clip the whole page so the whole page is looking like the whole page of my screen that I'm seeing right now so it's even giving me stuff on the side and on the top that I don't necessarily need right or do I want to pick a region so I can just select, okay, I just want this stuff. I could do that. Or it can, it's smart enough to figure out what's the article. So then it just picks what the article is and it just grabs that. So I, I really like that option. Um, or if you want to kind of limit the space and not use um, that much room to show what you have clipped, then you can say just bookmark it, but give me a little bit of information underneath. So that way, you know, when I want to go to this article, I just click on the link and I'm right in the article again. So this is better than a bookmark. Like why do you need to have bookmarks all over your Chrome browsers or whatever browser you might be using? Just clip it to your notebook. Um, so if I say, and so, and so before I say clip, I do need to pay attention to location. So right now it says location is classroom example group. So I can decide, you know, where do I want to put it? Do I want to put it in my classroom notebook or do I want to put it on my, one of my other notebooks? Um, I'll say classroom because that's a good place for it. Um, but I do have lots of choices here. So I do, I do have to have a notebook ready and uh, a section available too. Um, so let's say classroom and I'll just say class examples. So uh, help me remember, that's where I put it. So I'm gonna say class example, I'm gonna go clip. So then, okay, it's clipping it, take some time, I'll just take my hands off the, the mouse so it doesn't think I'm trying to compete with it. But it's gonna let me put it right into my OneNote notebook. Um, it's gonna let me take a peek at it right away here if I want to, or I'm just, I can just go to my OneNote and take a look at it there as well. Okay, there's my internet, good. View in OneNote. So if I say view in OneNote, well, let's try it. Um, that just opens up OneNote on the web. So that's bringing me the web, the web version of, of OneNote, which is perfectly fine. Um, but then I'll also show it to you on my desktop 
app for OneNote. So now you know you have two versions of OneNote. You have the desktop app that you can download and use that, and then you have the, the web app as well. And so here it is in the web app. So it's under class examples. And then what is OneDrive? Cool, right? Okay, so let's let's look at it uh, just from the desktop app. So you saw that I was trying to make you guys hungry with me being on this carrot soup recipe. And then I'm gonna move back to my classroom notebook. And from my classroom notebook, I'm gonna go to class example. And then it took a second, but there is OneDrive. So there's that notebook or that note. All right, so One OneNote is uh, a very cool program. I hope you uh, take a look at it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.